Your chest muscles are some of the most powerful muscles of your upper body. To hit each part of your chest, we selected some of the best exercises and combined them into the following workout. With this workout you will hit the upper part, the middle part and the lower part of your chest with the best non-weighted exercises. For all exercises you should aim for an 8 to 15 rep range and 2 minutes rest in between the sets and the exercises. Only go to failure in the last set of each exercise and aim for 80 to 90% of your max reps in the sets before. The first exercise is a chest dip and it mainly focuses on the lower part of your pecs. While any kind of dips involve your chest, this particular body position offers the best chest activation. The key in this variation is to lean your upper body a bit forward while raising your legs at the same time. This body position puts the center of gravity right below your chest. If you do the dip with an upright body in a nearly vertical line, the focus switches from your chest to your triceps. If you lean your complete body forward without raising the legs, you would mostly hit your shoulders. It's also possible to do this variation with bent legs, as long as the center of gravity stays the same. Do 3-4 to four sets of this exercise depending on your level. As you probably know, the classic push-up and all of its variations are some of the best exercises you can do to improve the strength and the shape of your chest. The best variation for the middle part is the in and out push-up. This movement combines the two major functions of the chest, which is the flexion and the adduction of the arm. If you do the standard push-up on the ground, your hands are fixed, so you can't really move them in and outwards. Rings on the other hand are not fixed, so you can move your hands outwards when you go down and bring them together when you push yourself up. In this variation you aim for a white arm placement at the bottom, but be careful to not flare your elbows completely outwards. The out flared elbow position has not only no benefits for your chest development, it also puts your shoulder in a bad biomechanical position which can lead to injury in the long term. If you don't have access to rings, you can also do push-ups on the ground. Here you should try to initiate the inward movement at the top, even if your arms are fixed on the ground. Again you do 3-4 to four sets of this exercise depending on your level. Now it's time to hit the upper chest, and there are two exercises you could do for that. The first one is the decline push-up. A common mistake when doing decline push-ups on the ground is the hand placement and joint alignment. If you do decline push-ups on the ground with a straight body, your head will touch the ground first before you are able to get the full range of motion in your shoulder joint. Most people try to compensate this by changing the hand placement. If you place your hands more to the front, you increase the range of motion in your elbow joint, but not in your shoulders. This will decrease the chest and increase the triceps activation. If you place your hands more to the back, you change the exercise to a more shoulder than chest dominant movement. This is the reason why we only recommend this exercise if you do it on parallels. Parallels allow you to use the full range of motion and the right joint alignment. The other option to target your upper chest, and this is the one we suggest, is the upper chest band fly. Here you fix the band with your foot and pull it from the outside to the inside, which is called adduction. In addition you pull it from the bottom to the top, which is called flexion. Both directions will engage your chest, so it's very important to extend your legs and adjust your body in an archer squat like position. With this you make sure that the band is under tension not only for the flexion but also for the adduction. Of course you can also fix the band onto an object instead of on your foot, as long as the movement path is similar. Also make sure to not rotate your upper body. This would switch the focus from your chest to your obliques.
If you are very mobile and want to focus more on the adduction, you can go down and do an archer squat hold while pulling the band to your body. No matter if you choose the decline push up or the band fly, you do 3 to 4 sets of this exercise depending on your level. Alright guys, this was the full routine. Always make sure to work with proper form and concentrate on the muscle in every rep. If you want a complete program to build more muscle, we suggest you our body transformation program. The program is designed around calisthenics, but we also added weighted exercises like dips, pull-ups, squats and many more. If you want to increase your strength and learn calisthenics exercises in the first place, we suggest you our complete calisthenics program. Every program is available in different levels, so no matter if you are a beginner or if you have a lot of experience, our programs are the right choice for you. Just visit kellymove.com and start your improvement now. If you have further questions, just leave a comment. Thanks, Alex.